对，当了好汉，当了好汉。Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be really random and a bit rambly because I didn't really have a solid idea of what to do while I was filming it. I have a lot of clips of like flowers, gardens, and nature, so I'm just going to go off of that. This is after I got back from Hawaii and spent a few days at home. We went on a lot of walks and just like spent a lot of time with family. This is a Gamble Garden, so we decided to go because the Baylands was way too windy and it was so cold. Thank God we came here because all the flowers were blooming and it was so pretty. There were a lot of other people, like professional photographers, taking pictures here with their giant ass cameras, which I thought was really funny. You can see my parents in the background trying to get all the shots of the flowers. It's so cute. My mom always has to take pictures of every single flower every time we go places. This time around, being home was a little bit more stressful than it usually is, just because of like the talk about post grad plans and me not having anything solidified.、Uh, yeah, so during break, I basically was job searching the whole time and grinding on that, just because I didn't apply to any grad schools. I didn't want to continue school right after college. Ideally, I would go back for like an MBA later on in my career,、um, but I think because everyone else that I know has a plan and knows what they will be doing after college, my parents got a little bit stressed for me and wanted me to, you know, pick up my pace and find something. But it did like. Clash a little bit, or we did clash on opinions. I think it was just in the heat of the moment and having that like panic, especially from my parents' side. I understand that it is hard to see like someone you care about, like your child, not having a plan or, I guess like, living, not living up to expectations, but just like falling behind compared to everyone else. I definitely felt that way myself, especially with all my friends getting into grad school or getting jobs. So it was like already something that I was worried about, and it definitely didn't help that my parents were kind of like didn't <laughs> seem like they believed in me or like were not on my side. But now I know like they just want the best for me, and that's why they brought it up that way. In the moment when I was stressed and they were stressed as well, it like came to not the best discussion. But yeah, we figured it out, and I do love my parents for you know putting that effort in to explain to me like how they're feeling and why they talk to me that way. But yeah, it was still. I think it was very like. Eye opening. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's my grandma. <laughs> she got me some uh, gifts from China and she was helping me put it in my hair. And then this is my fit for the day and it's all my mom's clothes, which is super cute. I love it, but I didn't get to bring any back because I didn't have space in my luggage. And then I went to job hunt at a cafe with my friend. It was very cute. I like this cafe and they had like specialty drinks. I got an ube one and it was pretty good. And then I forgot to vlog a lot, but this is the, we went for the 50% off Ikea meal and I already ate lunch right before, so I didn't get that much, but obviously I had to get the Swedish meatballs. They were delicious. I loved it. But yeah, I didn't mean to like cut off my talk about uh, post-grad plans so fast, but you know, had to talk about what was going on in the video. I am sure a lot of people are stressed about post-grad, especially with the economy right now. It's insane, and I feel like the recruiting process and the interview process isn't helping with like the ghosting and just not hearing back. Yeah, it, it just seems like a bottomless hole that you are putting your resume into and like nothing is coming out of it. I think I applied to like 200 jobs and only got three interviews, I think. And like getting interviews is already hard and then making it past interviews is even harder so you can imagine how stressful it is for everyone job hunting right now yeah it is just a very hard time to be in and i had lost hope but a little update i did get a job offer for a position in san diego so i might actually be down there for the foreseeable future and I'm very excited because San Diego really is like my ideal weather and it's still in California so I'm still close to family It is Saturday morning and we're on our way to Half Moon Bay to see the mustard flowers. They are definitely blooming so we wanted to check it out and the weather was also really nice. I love going on these little adventures with my family, especially in these nature areas because we all like to stop and take a bunch of photos of everything around and I think we all have this appreciation for nature that is nice because we're not like holding anyone back. My parents and my grandma here <laughs> love to take pictures. She brings her iPad out and then sometimes she'll draw like what she's taking pictures of later which I think is so fun. But yeah, there were a lot of hummingbirds and they would land and then just like sit there and watch us, which I thought was really cool. Oh, 
这是底下有一个。对，当了好汉。当了好汉。As I grow older, I feel like my conversations with my parents have become more like two-way, I guess. When I was little, it was more like them talking to me and me either accepting it or rebelling against whatever they were saying. But now it's more of like an actual back and forth conversation, which I really enjoy. And I feel like I've gotten to know more like about their actual personalities and stuff like that. So I do appreciate that. This is me on the plane back to LA, and then we went to Huntington Gardens, like a week after getting back. We went there for the cherry blossoms, but they were waning when we got there. But it was still really pretty, everything was gorgeous. The weather was really great as well. We came a few years ago, or like two years ago, around November time, so it did look a little bit different than the last time we came and we got to see a few more like flowers and blooms which was really nice 